Begin with fresh cold milk. Fill the milk jug to just below the spout position. Give the steam wand a purge, removing any condensed water by lifting the steam lever. With the steam lever closed, insert the steam wand into the jug. You're looking for about one to two centimeters below the surface of the milk. Move the steam lever to the open position and keep the tip of the steam wand just under the surface of the milk until the milk is spinning clockwise, producing a whirlpool effect. With the milk spinning, slowly lower the jug. This will bring the steam tip closer to the surface of the milk and start to introduce air into the milk. You may have to gently break the surface of the milk with the tip to get the milk spinning fast enough. Keep the tip at or slightly below the surface while continuing to maintain the whirlpool. Texture the milk until sufficient volume is obtained. The milk is at the correct temperature, 60 to 65 degrees Celsius, when the jug is hot to touch. Once the desired temperature is reached, move the steam lever to the closed position before taking the tip out of the milk. Set the jug to one side and wipe the wand and tip with a damp cloth. Position the steam tip above the drip tray and lift the steam lever to purge out any residual milk. Then, pull the lever down to the closed position. Tap and swirl the jug on the bench to collapse any bubbles. Now, you are ready to create latte art. Remember, different brands and types of milk and milk alternatives will texture differently, so you may need to adjust your texture levels accordingly.